this is Jess with Everyday Science, and today I wanted to talk to you guys about some really interesting articles in space news this week. First, the chief of the Russian International Space Station team, Vladimir Solovyov. Hmm? Sorry, Vladdy. Uh, he released details on sea plankton discovered on the outside of the International Space Station, or ISS. This is like sea plankton on the outside of the ISS in zero gravity. Like, mind blown. This is a huge discovery because this might completely change how we think of life as we know it. What we know for sure is that life can exist on Earth, but possibly not anywhere else, as far as we know. What this discovery could tell us is that maybe life could actually exist in space, outside of the super environmentally controlled space stations and future biodomes. Unfortunately, the reports of these plankton have not been confirmed by NASA, and it's probable that these little guys just hitched a ride to the ISS on the modules when they were launched from Earth. And you know, it's not actually that surprising that these guys could live outside in these extreme environments, considering we have some really crazy life forms on Earth called extremophiles that live in extremely extreme environments. Like my favorite, hyperthermophilic hemolithoautotrophs, which live at the very, 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 very bottom of the ocean with absolutely no sunlight in super, super hot boiling water. Something else really cool in space news right now is that the Curiosity rover discovered a thigh bone on the surface of Mars. Or did it? Social media has lit up with this image of a thigh bone that was found on the surface of Mars. Web goers have decided that this looks close enough to a bone that it might actually be one. But as usual, every time you want to have a little bit of fun with single or multicellular organisms living outside of the Earth, NASA's got to come in with all their facts and stuff. Such as, Mars has never really been able to support anything bigger than a single-celled organism, if indeed it could even support that. Thanks, NASA. But hey, anything is possible. I still think 216 Cleopatra is probably just a really big alien species fossil hiding amongst our asteroid belt. Well, that is all for today. Let me know what you guys think about life in outer space in the comment section below. And remember to subscribe for more videos. And thank you for watching.